Welcome to Hive. In this video, we're going to walk through the basics of what you see in the Hive platform and make sure you have the lay of the land before you jump into working in Hive. When we first come into Hive, we see a few different things on our screen. In the centre is Project Navigator, and this is accessed by projects on our left hand navigation. This is your directory of projects and you can see edit, create and access projects easily from here. You can also expand the project hierarchy to see all of your projects in the parent and child setup. You also have the option here to pin projects to the left hand navigation. So let's go ahead and pin a couple of these projects just here. And you can see these start to appear on the left hand navigation. Now this serves as a favourites bar to make sure you can easily move around the platform and access the projects that you need. You can reorder the projects in the left hand navigation to make sure that they are in the right order for you and that's done by dragging and dropping as you can see here. Again within Project Navigator you can access the other capabilities such as archived projects, some reviews, and also project templates. On the left hand side where we have our navigation panel you can access my actions at the top here which is a list of all the actions assigned to you. You can access Hive Mail should you have that connected and you can also access some of the other apps such as analytics, portfolio view, resourcing or forms. You can also come back here to access your project navigator through projects and beneath here you can send and receive group or direct messages. Now let's move over to the top right hand side of the platform here and what you can see is the first thing is the blue question mark. Now the blue question mark allows you to start a conversation anytime you need with our team and this is if you want to ask us a question. So here you are here, send us a message. Down below you'll find a quick access to Hive help for hints and tips and you can also search our articles for an answer to anything that you need to look up. To the left of the question mark is our profile picture. Now here you can quickly access my profile and you can make some changes such as adding a photo, change your information and your password. One thing to do is make sure you save your profile when you make any changes. Next to this is the file panel. So by opening the file panel, we can connect to your file store. And this includes SharePoint as well for those of you that use it. You can easily attach files to projects and actions in Hive at any point as you work. And you'll be able to set that up through this selection here. Now notifications are an important function in Hive because it's important for us to understand work coming through and also work that's changing as we go through our day. So if I open up notifications, you'll see here, I have four notifications of work that's due today. And next to that is my activity feed, which just shows me changes within the workspace. Moving along, we see that we have our search bar and this is a new function on Hive, but this allows for us to search for action cards and projects throughout our structure. Now, finally, two or three more points to note down here on the right. You can access the notes panel and search your notes here and also the recent actions. And this is allows you to research and to find action cards that you had opened that you may have closed that you want to quickly access again. So that is our basic functions of Hive and this should get you set up to start work.